Oh, I'm so happy to be here. It is summer. It's our first day. Hang on. I'm going to get my Wi-Fi turned on. You know, I always forget to do that. You guys, I live on data. <laughs> like, I'm always, if I'm not on data, or if I'm not on, on like the Wi-Fi, that it, it freezes on me. So hopefully this is a stronger signal than my data plan. It is our first day of summer here, and um, this is the first of our live video tutorials that our goal is to come at you every single day this summer and I've recruited help this year so you'll get to see a lot of faces not just mine um, I've got a calendar too I'm just late getting it out so I will get that calendar out but let me introduce myself in case you're new so I'm Allison and um, I'm the owner of the Orange Diesel School of Art we've been in business for this is our fifth summer here at this studio location. I'm sitting in Liberty right now. This is our first location. We've got a second studio over in Platwoods. It's actually in their first summer. Um, they opened in August, so they're they're doing their very first summer um, over there. So we've got two studio locations, and we are a children's art studio. We do classes and camps for kids, so it's like creative expression and experience as well as some technical art skills. We use all sorts of media, so we're not one of those places that just paints on canvas. That is not who we are. Um, we do sculpture, we do wire, we do mixed media, we do sewing, we do we do everything for the for the creative arts, visual arts. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I can't squat like that. <laughs> All right. So um, if you are in local to the Kansas City metro area, we would love to have you join us for classes this summer. We get 200 plus. Classes and camps on the website from, you know, itty bitty toddlers all the way up to high schoolers. So check that out um, and get signed up. We do have spaces because we opened a second location this year, you guys. It's the very first summer ever that I've been able to have like June 1st come and say, there's still room. Who knew? We just needed to open another studio. So get signed up because we've got room for you. So exciting. Um, today, you guys, oh my goodness, oh, we're going to do some bubble painting. So if you've ever seen... A blog post from um, um, Babble Dabble Do or um, Tinker Lab or all the big names have done bubble painting blog posts. I know you've seen them. I thought I would show you a version here today um, in case you want to recreate this at your own house and you can learn from me. Okay, so I am sitting here in my lobby. I'm going to do it inside. You could do this outside if you wanted to. Um, it would be a really fun outdoor activity. Couple things though, you're gonna have to keep in mind is wind and um, like where you're at in your like flatness of your surface, okay? So if you do it outside, you'll have those two factors. Inside, it's a little bit more controllable. I will tell you when I was doing it, um, look, I already made a mess. Um, when I was doing it, um, I did it on a little piece of paper like this, see? It was really hard to hit this sheet of paper. You wouldn't think it would be. You think I could just blow bubbles and they'd land on this piece of paper. Thank you for the hearts. Um, it wasn't. <laughs> I blew the bubbles and they went like, they landed like three inches off to the side of the paper every time. Every time. <laughs> I got to the point where I was blowing the bubbles and then catching them with the paper because I really needed an example to show you guys. Um, I can't imagine what that would be like with wind. Um, I feel like the bu bubbles would just like take off and end up in the neighbor's yard. So do it on a not windy day if you're outside or do it inside. Um, I've also got, if you're going to do it inside, I've got our painter's tarp, this canvas tarp. We have so many of them in the studio and we use them all the time. I highly recommend that if you do art and creative and crafty stuff at your house, go invest the $14 in a canvas painter's tarp and you'll use it all the time. Throw it in the washing machine when you're done. Um... It covers tables, it covers floors, it, you know, if you had like rice out, you can like roll it up and throw it back in the bin. So these are great. Um, that's what we love. Um, I also have, this is kind of a heavy duty wet application paper. It's our, um, if you've seen some of our posts, it's the ultimate art paper from Discount School Supply. That's what we use for anything that's wet. We have a, a drawing paper that we use as well because we use lots of paper. But this one, definitely you're going to want one of the, one of the papers that can hold up. So this or like watercolor paper, watercolor paper is more expensive. So only do that if you're planning on keeping it. You could go really, really big and that would be really fun. Although, like I said, this took me a while to fill. So, and then a canvas, you could also do it on a canvas. So I brought that up as well. 
Couple things I learned. Because you're going to mix yourself some colored bubble solution. Now they make colored bubble solution and you can totally use the stuff that they make. Keep in mind it's washable-ish. Um, and it's really, it gets everywhere. I've used the, the colored bubbles, you guys, and it's like a, it's almost a syrupy consistency. So when you pull it out, like it drips down their arms. I don't know if, if anyone out there has ever used it, you can back me up on this. It is so messy. Um, I'm not saying that this stuff isn't like clean, but that stuff, I don't know, maybe they changed the wand design or something, from, but it was a mess when I used it with my kids. But it would definitely do great for bubble painting, okay? Um, I made my own colored bubble solution. I followed a few different recipes just to kind of test them out so I could be knowledgeable about teaching you guys how to do it. The first one I tried used tempera paint. Did not work. I think it was too heavy and like the bubble solution worked before I put the paint in it. I tested. But after I tried to blow bubbles with it, it was like it was too thick or heavy and it just popped right on the, right on the wand in my face. So that did not work. Um, if you had a more expensive bubble solution, it might work. I am using bubble solution from the dollar store. So that's how we roll here. Let me give you the one I used. Hang on, I got it. So this here, this is my bubble solution. It comes in a three pack from the dollar store. I like it because it's kind of a nice small bottle, right? It's easy for the kids to carry around. Um, if I mix up the color, I can mix up lots of colors very inexpensively. Um, and so it worked really well. I liked that I could mix it up right in the bottle, right? I didn't have to put it in a separate container. If I had a great big bubble solution bottle and I was doing lots of colors, I would need to use, you know, small containers. Um, I've got a little wand here and I used liquid washable watercolors. Let me show you. In case you're not familiar with these. Oh, hang on. We use these all the time in the studio. They are our substitute for food coloring. You could use food coloring if you have it at home, but I highly recommend if you do a lot of things where you're coloring Play-Doh, you're coloring um, spray bottle water, you're coloring bubble solutions, this is the stuff you need because it is washable and food coloring is not. Um, so this is liquid washable watercolors. It's like $3.95 a bottle. And it comes in like really great colors. You can even get ones that have glitter in it. So I'm just using a plain green. I squirted about a tablespoon of green dye in here, okay? I tried more of it and it didn't make very good bubbles. I assume because our ratio of like whatever the soap is in here and this, it, it broke my surface tension. So don't put too much, maybe start with a little and see how much you can add. Um, Cause you do want it dark enough that when you blow a bubble, it actually leaves a, a print. So it's not too pastel-y, but you don't want it so dark that, um, that it doesn't make a bubble, okay? My second one, I'm telling you, I've been working on this for an hour, you guys. My second one that I did, I have a purple one over here that failed <laughs> because I put too much of this in it and I couldn't get it back. So I tried putting like dish soap back in it. I tried putting glycerin back in it and it, it wouldn't work. Again, I think it's my dish soap because I buy dish soap from the dollar store. So that didn't work. All right, I've, I've told that Dawn dish soap or Palm Olive dish soap work really well for homemade bubble solutions. Maybe we'll do a video on that later on in the summer. So learn from me, because I don't want you to be frustrated because you like had grand plans to do this activity with your kids and then you did it and it like, you couldn't blow bubbles that were colored. So learn from me, get this, put a little bit of this in it, don't put too much and it will blow bubbles. Ready? Now I say that and watch, this isn't gonna work. Here we go, put your bubble solution. Oh, the other thing I learned, real quick. You can't put a lid on it and shake it. That's the other thing I learned. I was like, oh, look how handy this little container is because I don't have to stir, I can just shake. Turns out if you do that, all the little foam on there, it, it hurts the bubbles and then they don't work as well. So you're supposed to stir really slowly. If you look at my Google history, it said like Google is like, why aren't my bubbles working? Here we go. Green bubbles, right there. Now. It will get on their faces when they blow because I have little green dots all over here, you know, cause like it pops in your face or it blows back cause you know, right? Yeah, so they are gonna be covered in, you know, splatters a little bit. It's gonna get all over the ground wherever you are. So if you're using a food coloring, right? And you are on your driveway, it's gonna stay in the driveway. So do it in the grass. 
and then watch your wind if you're outside, okay? You ready to see what this looks like? Let's see if I can like catch a bubble. I don't know. Either that I have to stand up and do it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. Nope. Failed. Isn't this fun? Okay, here we go. Ah! Too slow. <laughs> Come here. Try not to spill the entire bubble solution. Here's my paper. It's a good hair day, you guys. The humidity is really low. Here we go. Relative for Midwest summer. See, I have to move my paper in order to get it to land on there. And there's not even any wind, you guys. Now, if you used a more expensive bubble solution than the dollar store, this might work better. Got one. Boom. 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 Each one of these leaves a ring here, and it's it's a really cool effect. If you can catch them. <laughs> ah. I don't know, maybe that could be part of the activity. It's running around trying to catch the bubbles. Maybe you could blow the bubbles and they could catch them. And just splattered in my face. There's a big one. Oh, I missed it. Go back here. See if I can catch it on a canvas. This one, maybe if I double my efforts. Here we go. Canvas, paper. <laughs> Surely it will work now. Here we go. Nope, missed all of them. I don't, I don't know how it does it, you guys. No bubbles land. It's like they've got eyeballs and they know to avoid it. There, oh, almost. I got one right in the corner there. I landed on the paper. I'm going to slide this back, see if I can get one to land right on the canvas because I think it would be really cool. Oh, I see a comment. I love comments, you guys. I just got to get closer. Looks fun. Oh, good. Yes. Jamie, I so appreciate you commenting because sometimes I feel like I just talk to myself. Which I don't mind, but, you know, it's nice to know someone's watching. If you try it, I totally want to see, like, a photo. You can just tag me in it. Okay, let's see if I can get one to land on the canvas, okay? I don't know. Not having good luck here. Whoops. Don't you hate it when you lose the bubble wand in the bubbles? Goodness. Nope. Nope. Oh, that one. Yay. It seems like when they land and they hang around on the canvas longer, like this one is back here in the corner, you guys, it leaves a better ring. If they just land and pop, it's like it's a just a ghost circle. I don't know why that's different, but it's a better ring when it sits on there. Somebody try it with like the gazillion bubble solution and let me know how it works. Like the really expensive-ish stuff. I like all the splatters too. Let's see if I can use my purples. I did reserve a little bit of the purple solution before I ruined it. I had taken some out, so I was able to make some purple bubbles, but they're not as good as the green ones. Here's a good purple one. We have our class going on right now. They're making sunset skylines over, um, so they're doing some watercolor painting, and then that's the, like, the background, like the sunset part because there's no better media to paint a sunset. And then they're doing a, a printmaking, like um, for the foreground for the city. So they're carving on that really cool printing foam. Whoop, that one popped in my face. I'm gonna have purple dots all over my face, like freckles. Ooh, 
That was a good one. That was another good one. I think I'm getting it. Nope. I spoke too soon. Woo. All right. I almost made my kids come, you guys, this afternoon and do this with me. <laughs> but they've been doing sports camps all day, so I figured they didn't want to. Check it out. There's my canvas. Now, the canvas right there, I, I can't lift it up and just show it to you because um, all of this liquid is just sitting on the surface. It's like a watercolor. So if I lifted it up, it would drip, um, unlike the paper where it kind of like absorbs it in. But you can see I've got my, my rings of, of paint. But a little bit different effect, definitely, on the canvas than on the paper. That one's my paper. Is it locked? Hang on, I got to rescue somebody. Just a sec. Don't go anywhere. Whew, that was a long time to be gone. Sorry about that. Our classroom door got locked and somebody couldn't get back in. So it's like the only reason I'm here. <laughs> All right. So if you guys try bubble painting at home, I want to know what your experience is and what you learn from it and what kind of awesome wet and wild art you make from it. Sound good? Tomorrow.